Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here and today we have each NCT unit versus their maknae. NCT Dream has chilling into the dream coming back. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked. Last time it didn't, so we should be good. Fingers crossed. They might be on to us though. They might block it. I hope they don't though. Um, but um, on Patreon, we just did Jenel and James battle trip. And it, it should be out by the time this is out. Um, beautiful. Love joining them on their little dates. It was very romantic. <laughs> I loved it. Um, and we're doing NCT Life. We did NCT Life in Thailand which was season one. Now we're on season two. It's NCT Life in Seoul. We have Kun and Winwin joining us. Kun is really funny here. He gives different vibes compared to when he's with Wavy. And we also have Wave Vision. We have NCT Life in Gapyong. We have NCT Dream Mental Camping. We have etc. etc. So much NCT over there. Concerts, all that good stuff. Along with like tons of other um, SM groups if you're an SM stan. Or if you just like a lot of groups. There's a lot over there. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this because every maknae gives different energy. Young Young seems, at least from everything I've seen, he seems to like being the maknae but like not admitting it. <laughs> like Jisung seems like he just hates being the maknae. Like um, even in NCT Life in season one, like he, he seems like ugh, so reluctant. But Young Young seems like stop i'm not your baby but like he likes being the baby and then hr i just forget he's the maknae he's true maknae on top also i'm just very used to him in dream so when i see him in 127 it's so weird like i which is weird because i knew him mainly from 127 because i used to mainly stand 127 and I feel like I just always forgot he was the maknae because he doesn't- Like, I, I think I would always think Mark or Jungwoo were the maknae. Like, when Jungwoo was like- Because he joined. Like, I was in that era of time where it feels like maybe they were just babying Jungwoo a lot because he was new. Um, but yeah, I, I completely forget Heitron is indeed a maknae. Now, I think he forgets too though. <laughs> maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the video. Yeah, see, he, they baby Young Young. <laughs> young Young is the babiest of babies. Still a young boy. <laughs> you don't need to be worried. I'm always beside you. Yeah, can you give it to me? <laughs> I looked up. I looked up. Up, who has siblings in Wavy, and I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I, uh, is Young Young the youngest in his family, or is he an only child? That also may have to do with it, because Jisung has a younger brother. I think. I don't remember. I can barely remember. Like, I forget who's in the unit sometimes. Like, I can't remember their their families. <laughs> I think he has a sister, but I can't remember if it's younger or older. So you are the baby. Mm. This is mainly ten. <laughs> See, he likes being the baby. He feel I feel like he also just acts the most like the maknae, like a baby. God, I have a photo card of him with this hair. I will never, I would never trade it. <laughs> I like Ten's hair here too. <laughs> He's such a dork. Oh, 
I saw it. He was scratching. I, I. <laughs> that was such a brat thing to do. This is Let Me Love You music video set. Is this for takeoff? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I think when he's not, when he doesn't smile, he looks cool. But when he smiles, he looks just like a baby. <laughs> They're such jerks. I like that Lucas laughed, but it, Lucas isn't. Wait, they're the same age. Yeah, aren't they the same age? Lucas is a year younger than me. I think Yang Yang. Is he a 2000 baby or is he a 99 baby? I think he's a 99 baby. Oh my god, let's just look it up. I hate myself. God, this is all you have to do. Yeah, so he is, he is younger than Lucas. I was about to say, I don't really remember. <laughs> so wait, so is Renji? <sighs> this is such an iconic <laughs> clip. Wait, hey, turn with all these bitches. <laughs> Just kidding. He's the annoying Mac Baby, what are we doing now? I love this clip. Let's play the game. Like, if Yang Yang did this to Ten, Ten would bask in the glory of it. He'd be like, oh my gosh. But not one, two, seven. Like, even Win Win would accept Yang Yang's affection. <laughs> Maybe. It depends on his mood. <laughs> I love that clip too. Rice? <laughs> Jayhan, you speak English. You need to be with the program. <laughs> I love the concern on Dayang's face. <laughs> Hichon's like, I am down with the cool kids. <laughs> One, two, seven are truly frat boys who became a family. Dream are childhood friends who became a family. And Wavy is a dysfunctional family that was always a family. <laughs> like, they are the real family, where it's like, they have dysfunctions, but like, they are truly brothers. While, fra like, 127 are frat boys who consider each other brothers. <laughs> and Dreamies are childhood friends who are brothers. I feel like that's how I would describe each unit. <laughs> I like how Wavy's was everyone hugging Yang Yang and cuddling him, and here it's Hechon mainly hugging everyone and wanting affection. <laughs> Hechon wants affection, Yang Yang pretends he doesn't and gets annoyed when people give it to him. <laughs> That's so cute, I like that clip. Ah, <laughs> oh, the coconut head. Ah, oh, a bop. That doesn't count. That's what he wanted to say. Mm -hmm. 
I just don't want that jacket. I don't want it so bad. <laughs> See, Jisung doesn't consider himself the magnet. <laughs> Jisung does not want this affection. Jeez, that looked like it hurt. Wow, that was just that was just rude. <laughs> Where's this from? Because he just Jamin was just annoying everyone during this video. Yeah. See? Where's this from? I see it all the time. Wow. Wow. That was rude. I like that Chenla was laughing, but he wasn't looking. Like he already knew what was happening. They're so rude. I, which group would you want to live with? I would never want to live with the Dreamies. Hands down, would never. I would... Oh, Wavy's messy. And they have a lot of animals. I have to live with the 127 crew because half of them aren't there half the time. So it's cool. <laughs> you know, like... Hey, no, no, because Heytron and Mark do live there. I was gonna say cause but then during dreamy stuff do they they live with do they live with dream like do they stay there let me know if so definitely well I, I have to choose one to seven anyways because that's the only I don't live with Chenla he lives alone I don't live with him or does he live with his family I think he lives alone I'm gonna live with Chenla <laughs> he's his own unit I feel like if Yang Yang cried, Ten would comfort him. But I might be thinking too highly of Ten, because he can be a little savage sometimes too. What a brat! <laughs> he kind of looks good there. This isn't affection, this is just wrestling how is his leg all the way up there <laughs> i guess jisung is tall and jenna is tiny oh, is he mocking him or the one who babies him the most to me is jamin who do you think babies jisung the most in dream because i know one two seven baby him too because Heichun technically babies him, but he does it in like a brotherly way while Jamin acts like he's his mom or something. <laughs> like that is true babying. That's not like brotherly babying. Like he is treating him like a baby. <laughs> oh my- I was, That was rude and uncalled for. He's so tiny. Who do they think? Wow, Young Young looks so pretty with this hair. Who do they think is the youngest then? Impossible. Uh -huh. 
when you first got into the group, who did you think were the youngest of each unit? Um, this isn't too far off, but I thought Lucas was the youngest in Wavy. But that's just because I kept forgetting Young Young was the youngest, and I was already used to Lucas being younger than everyone else. So, I always thought it was him. I think, for, I could be wrong, but I, I, I think I, I knew Ji Sung was the youngest going into Dream, so it was hard for me to not see him as that, because I always knew as soon as I got into Dream who he was. And then I, oh, like I said, I always thought Jungwoo was the youngest in 127 or Mark, because they're the same age anyway, so, um, no, they're not the same age. I see, you see, I forget. I forget Jungwoo is 98. <laughs> um, yeah. Ji Sung, the Magne that gets bullied by the young. Young Young, the Magne that bullies the young. Seichon is the Magne that gets killed by the young after he bullies the young. I love that. Ji Sung wants to act more like Magne. Does he? Mm -hmm. Young Young wants to stop being seen as Magne. Does he? <laughs> Heichon, I'm doing my job right. I would flip it. Ji Sung wants. Well, he says he. People don't think he's the youngest. And he wants to be seen as it, but he doesn't act that way. Honestly, I think most maknees like being the maknee, but don't like being babied sometimes, except for Young Young. I think he likes it, <laughs> but that's just my theory. Anyways, what do you guys think in the comments down below? Who's your favorite maknee? I think my favorite maknee is probably Young Young, just because I like how he, like in terms of how he responds to being the maknee. I just like his response to it. I like that he doesn't try that hard to act like he hates it. Jisung very much tried. Like, I think he does dislike it, but you know, there's that part of him that does like it. I don't know. We can go on about this for like an hour. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!